Perky Plains and RC here operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the good old coffee. Sorry, no uh, no dad jokes today. I don't really have anything. It, it's too early. Um, so, um, th this was not really the kind of video I was uh, th thinking I was going to be making here for the uh, for this other run of the Super Tiger uh, 2300. Um, so, if, if something like this happens in the future, you know, if for something like this, then it probably means something bad happened. Or maybe I just have that kind of luck. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it was not quite expect. It was not quite the run that I was expecting uh, out of it. I thought for sure I'd you know kind of uh, you know get a feel for the thing and really kind of dial it in real good. And I think we're getting there. Honestly, I think we really are getting there. Uh, but I'm just still seeing some issues. Still, still just kind of still not quite right to me. And um, you know, and I think it, it is one of those engines too that uh, it has a very um, there's not really a whole lot of a good basis for it, um, because I've seen, I've seen it all over the map, guys. I've, I've been reading up on people's experiences, and I've seen people say they have great experiences with 10, 15% nitro. I've heard some people say that you can't run nitro in these things, they don't like it. Um, I, um, I've heard these glow plugs work good, and I've heard these glow plugs work good. It, it, it's just this, it, it's all over the place, you know. Uh, there's not a whole lot of consistency there, you know what I'm saying. And, um, and, and then, of course, you have the manual as well, trying to, trying to give you some recommendations and things to use. So, and, and you know, from, from my understanding, too, these things were manufactured in a couple different places, Italy and China. And you're going to have some differences there, too, probably, in, uh, in what you get. So, um, and I feel like for, for my case especially, um, it's one of those ones too where it's sort of like, hmm, what makes this thing really, really tick good? And uh, that's what we're kind of uh, trying to figure out. So, uh, I do think it's it's better than what it was. It's not as rich. In fact, um, from the video clips I'll show you, I actually leaned it a little too much. Um, so, and uh, it, it's, all a pro it's all a learning process with these things. It really is. Um... I don't think it's as, as cut and dry as some other manufactured engines, uh, you know, that say, use this and this and it'll, it'll perform great. And it's like, you know, the Super Tiger, this might work good, this might work good, you know, it, it just depends. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think it went better than what it, what it did. I mean, I mean, obviously it's, um, it seems like it's, uh, behaving a little better, but we're still not quite there yet, I, I don't think. So, uh, I'm just going to show you guys a few clips of... Of that of those runs uh, and some you know, some clips from that. Something else I wanted to kind of mention too is I am honestly truly thankful that I have this YouTube channel here because it allows me a video history. It allows me to sort of go back and and look at things, how things were in the early days of this engine with me and trying to figure it out. And, and even then, of course, I didn't know anything about tuning. Um, but it, it still still it allows me a chance to sort of look back and go, okay, this 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 experience was better than this and, and I'm, I'm, you know, seeing and hearing something different from this video than I'm seeing currently and all that. So I, I am truly thankful, honestly, that I've kept at least this, this video, uh, video history, video database thing here of, of this engine itself. So I can kind of go back and assess things and figure out, you know, what worked better than and, and all that. So, you know, I am truly thankful of course for, for that. And, uh, so anyways, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hush for now and let you guys hear some of the clips um, and some of the experiences from that run that I had recently did. Um, I actually did this uh, this past weekend. And uh, so th this way you guys can kind of see where things are going. Uh, one good thing I about this is, uh, like I said, number one, I'm, I'm going in the opposite direction. I'm leaning it a little too much. Uh, which, which you'll probably see. And then the other thing is, is that I'm finally getting more comfortable with reaching up there close to that prop and making those adjustments. So that, that was kind of a little bit of a, a an experience for me. I mean, it's, it's, when you're, when you're new to this, that is kind of a very, uh, 
an easy thing, but you got to do it to get it to run right. So, um, so definitely getting more comfortable with that. But uh, anyways, on with the footage.